Uh, my name is Kevin McAloy. I'm uh, Vice President of Global Marketing for 3D Systems, uh, based at our new facility in, in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, 3D is a, a company based in the United States, but we have uh, offices and facilities around the world. Like all of these additive processes, sterile lithography starts by taking three-dimensional uh, CAD information, uh, slicing that data into thin layers, and then feeding that data to the machine, and the machine, of course, reconstructs the part layer by layer in an additive fashion. In sterile lithography, the, uh, the, the actual process utilizes a vat of UV curable liquid and um, a UV laser with scanning mirrors. And as the slice data is fed to the scanners, the laser scans across the surface and um, supplies laser energy only where you have part cross-section. And in those areas, it selectively solidifies the material. Um, and once it's completed one uh, uh, scan region, um, a build platform is lowered into the vat by an amount equal to the layer thickness. And you then um, um, uh, smooth that layer if necessary and then you rescan uh, the, the next layer, and you supply enough energy such that the new layer is um, solidified and adhered to the previous layers, and you keep repeating those steps until you reconstruct the three-dimensional object. Because you work in a liquid, you build what are called support structures, and those su support structures anchor those unsupported portions of the part down to the build platform uh, until you've uh, got them in place and then added more material on top of them. Sterile lithography uh, excels at building very high resolution parts. Uh, because you work in a liquid uh, and because a UV laser can have a very fine spot size, you can get uh, very high resolution down to about a tenth of a millimeter. Um, you can get built in thin layers. Uh, down to 25 microns, although 50 microns is fairly typical, and, and get very, very good surface finish. And, and, and for those reasons, it finds very broad application. Uh, the applications include uh, direct models for, uh, as prototypes. Uh, it includes uh, patterns for processes such as vacuum casting um, through a process called quick cast. Uh, we can make patterns for investment casting. And uh, uh, sterile lithography is also being used for direct manufacturing, where we, the parts we actually build in the process are used as in-use parts. So the application is very broad. And in terms of industry sectors, um, you really wouldn't find an industry sector today where sterile lithography is not being applied. The, the, the key ones are, of course, automotive, uh, aerospace, medical are probably the, the three largest uh, sectors that utilize uh, parts from the sterile lithography process. Yeah, there are, there are um, uh, three machines uh, still being marketed. Um, the first is called the Viper. The second is the, uh, the SLA um, 7000. And the third is called the Viper Pro. And the Viper Pro is our latest offering just introduced in the last uh, 12 months. The primary differences between those systems are the build volume that's available uh, for, for, for constructing parts and also um, the beam delivery system, that is the laser and scanners that I described earlier, which, uh, which have gotten better over time and allow you to build uh, higher quality parts. The uh, 7000 is a larger machine it's also an older generation machine, but it's still very much a workhorse machine within uh, the world of RP. And it has a, uh, a 500 millimeter uh, um, X and Y build area, so you can build much larger parts in that system. So the Viper is our uh, smallest system, and it has a work volume of about 250 millimeters cubed. Um, and it has two operating modes, a normal mode and a high resolution mode. The high resolution mode only operates in the, in the center of the XY plane. So it, you can work in high resolution in approximately half the, the work area. 
But in that high resolution work area, you can get, uh, uh, you, you narrow the beam diameter and you can resolve features as small as about a tenth of a millimeter, um, which for some applications is, uh, is absolutely essential. Uh, electrical connectors, small medical parts, et cetera, where you have very fine uh, feature detail. The, uh, the Viper Pro is our latest system, again, introduced just in the last 12 months. And the Viper Pro has a, a next generation beam delivery system, which we call the ProScan system. And the ProScan beam delivery system has a number of new features. It has um, a digital laser control as well as digital scanner control. It has some feed forward, uh, sorry, sorry, feed forward uh, uh, control algorithms. Uh, we have higher resolution encoders. The net result is that in, in the new Viper Pro system, we can scan at high resolution over the entire work area and build very high resolution parts, very high surface quality over very large work areas. Hello, my name is Brian Fraser. I'm the Global Vice President of Sales for 3D Systems Corporation. Some hearing aid shells that are produced in a, a stereolithography on a Viper machine using Dreva resins. Both of these are custom designed to fit uh, the patient's actual ear canals so that it's comfortable uh, either in a clear device or in a, a, a colored device. Then the, the inside of the hearing, the uh, actual hearing aid portion goes inside of the shell and, uh, and it fits directly into the ear of the person. So every one of these is custom made for, for the individual. Indivi another uh, medical application where we use stereolithography to uh, produce biomedical devices. This particular one is for blood testing, so they, there's a, a series of grooves and uh, uh, holes, so blood is put into here for uh, uh, doing various tests of, of blood.